So we'll do a little walk and talk today. This is uh, Trepisit Road, I believe. John Tien. Well, I've said before, it reminds me a little bit of Piccadilly Circus. That only reminds me a little bit of Piccadilly Circus. And uh, we've got two. Two gentlemen's clubs here. Noisy that bike, wouldn't it? Two gentlemen's clubs, one's Robin Hood. That's where I did started the bar crawl with Webby a couple of weeks ago. It was really good. And the other one is Maggie Mays, which is literally opposite. There's a sign for it up there. But we'll just walk by and I'll just show you some of the uh, bars and shops and what have you. Road. Hello ladies, how are you? Oh, you can do for me? <laughs> Next door, yeah. Get your replacement. There, there, look. They do love their extensions here. That's shut up, a gold shop. So yeah, walking and talking, that's what I enjoy doing the most, as I said before, in COVID. I would uh, walk and talk looking at the buildings around central London. So let's do similar here. But I booked my holiday, it's Saturday today. And Sharples, that's great for fish and chips. It's got a few branches. Really, really nice fish and chips and other stuff as well for mainly fish and chips is a speciality those classic look block the pavement everybody would be moaning in the UK wouldn't they or Europe I have had a little moan now and again but you really just have to get on with it because this is Thailand lots of empty places there I don't know if oh that's to rent yeah I mean, I love those old buildings. Look at the one next door, the grey one. So yeah, I've booked my holiday. It's Saturday afternoon, and I'm going on Monday to Wahin. I don't know about the pronunciation, but everyone pronounces it differently. Uh, it's about four hours away. There used to be a ferry that would go across the sea and uh, now there's not it stopped it about two years ago so the only way now is to go up to bangkok and you can get the train from bangkok or um yeah you can get i'm crossing the road because of the music i don't know if that thai music but there's western music as well the tinnies pies is where i ate the pie the other day australian pies absolutely Stunning, the meat is is incredible. Barbecue pork ribs, 350. <clears throat> yeah, so from Patio you can get uh you can get up to Bangkok, wherever you want to go, it's about 1500 baht in a taxi, and then you can get the train to Hoi Hin. Always changing my uh, what I'm talking about. Super Town. This is Boys Town. Although in there on the left, halfway up, there's a Northern Soul venue. But well, it's a guy who does Northern Soul. Shall we go up and have a look? Show you where that is. Uh, venture into Boys Town. So yeah, you can go up to Bangkok and then you can get the train down to Hua Hin. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get a taxi all the way. So it's a four-hour taxi. <clears throat> and it's um, three and a half thousand baht and they stop halfway apparently they'll need to because they give you water anyway so I'll need a toilet break that looks nice doesn't it um, so I'm going to go all the way to taxi and I'm going to stop first of all in a little place 20 minutes before Hua Hin called Chiam 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 so bongs again changing my subject all the time Bongs is where they do the Northern Soul. 
And they do a funk night there as well. It is a cannabis cafe as well. And it's been all right. I've, uh, have I enjoyed it? Sort of, yeah. Obviously not fully. Just think of cannabis everywhere around here. Look at that old place. That's ready to have some work done, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm getting a taxi all the way round to Chayam, Chayam. It's about 20 minutes short of Hua Hin. And I'm staying in a little beachside hotel for three nights. I'm staying in hotels, first of all, because I am going on a holiday. Everybody keeps telling me to enjoy my holiday. Well, I'm not on holiday. I'm actually trying to find somewhere to live. So definitely not on holiday, but Monday I'll be on holiday. Three nights in Chai Am, Chai Am, and then uh, three other nights in Hua Hin. And then when I get to Hua Hin for the three nights, which is a bigger sort of town, really, I'm going to have a look around and maybe stay there longer, but maybe rent a quite fancy rent in something like a little villa. <clears throat> so we'll see. Often you can you can rent some daily, but the best prices are obviously monthly. Now the good thing is I'm only planning to go for maybe two weeks in total travelling, but I, I don't have any real plans, so I could travel for longer if I want. Up to me, as they say. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Holiday. And of course, I'll make some videos while I'm there. It's nice. I have got more Facebook, my real friends, my Facebook friends following me. Evelyn, how are you, darling? Going through tough times, but she's going to come out of it because she has to come out of it. We all have a, a lot to live for, even when we're not happy. Things aren't going well. So... Yeah, she's got a huge Bowie collection. The vinyl collection is definitely bigger than mine. So, well, and that's uh, Hemingway's John Tien there. That's where I go quite a lot. So I'm just gonna walk down to the bottom, walk and talk. Looking forward to going on holiday, not really looking forward to the journey, but on the other hand, I sit in a car, so it'll be easy. And I get picked up at 12 noon. Can't check in till two or three o'clock, which is ideal, because I'll probably get there about four o'clock, so. And I'm taking, uh, mind block on the name there, I'm taking Leah Cardos's Black Star book. Yes, I'm taking a book and I don't read books. try and read her interpretation of Black Star. Give it a go at least. Because certainly the first two lots of three days we're just going to be a beach lizard. Sit on the beach, chill out. Hopefully it won't rain. The rainy season is up in Chiang Mai, more Chiang Rai. And also further down, I believe, who catch still has more rain than we have here at the moment. I got my yellow sunglasses, that's where I got my yellow sunglasses from there. Joanne remembers them, she likes them. And a little prayer to the candles. Escobar, Pablo's bar. So that's it really, we're down now on uh, John Tien Beach, I'll just show you the actual beach area. And then we'll see, I've researched um, Wahin quite a bit, and Deep, my mate from the bush, him and his brother's been there, Deep quite liked it, his brother said it was too boring. But, and although I'm, I'm bored, uh, 
I still would prefer, I think, to live somewhere quieter where, yes, it's going to be more boring, but wherever you live, even if you live in a big city like Soho, any big city, you live in the centre of Patia, if you don't make friends, you are going to be bored. And I guess that's, uh, that's part of the thing wherever you are, really. So this was the end of my scooter ride. When I went on my little scooter ride, which I haven't quite uploaded yet, but I'm going to upload in a, later today, or it's probably uploading as we talk. This is the Dog Tan Beach. And here early evenings, early morning and early evening, I believe. We have all um, exercises, dance class stuff. So that's quite good. Lots of 7-Elevens there on the beachfront with outside seating. So you can get your cheap beer and sit outside and be on the beach. <laughs> it is hard to imagine why I don't just come down here every day, isn't it? But again, when you keep coming to the same place, you take it for granted. And yeah, it just becomes, becomes ordinary, probably becomes boring. I don't know. They do say you have to be careful here if there's any coconuts, don't lay under the coconuts because they'll come down and bang you on the head. Let's see if we can get a close up on that squirrel. a nice way to end up isn't it just chillax see if you come a group of you you can set up your little shelter there's a squirrel on there little shelter look. but that's what i'm going to be doing for the next for monday for at least six days in a beach life okay thanks for watching you know what they all say, don't they? Like and subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. Even my friends, they'll message me and say, oh, I watched your golf video. And they don't comment. Come on, guys, let's have some comments. Because my board video had so many comments and it's interacting, which I really enjoyed the interaction. Whether it was criticism or suggestions, it was great to get interaction and ideas. Might have a leg massage later, that's what's really good here. Let's go up on this little bit. It's all looking a bit tatty now, isn't it? Just because there's some nice bright colours there. People who sell all the inflatables. Okay, thanks for watching.